In 1977, humanity embarked on one of its most audacious ventures, launching the Voyager spacecraft into the vastness of space. These twin probes, symbols of our insatiable curiosity, ventured far beyond the familiar planets, aiming to uncover the mysteries of the very edges of our solar system. As we journey with the Voyagers, we bear witness to their incredible odyssey, exploring realms where no probe has ventured before. Their golden records, a testament to the human spirit, carry our greetings to any who might find them in the cosmic ocean. Yet our exploration does not end with the Voyagers. Far beyond the gas giants, in the shadowy fringes of our solar neighborhood, lies Pluto. This distant world, once a planet in our textbooks, now stands as a gateway to the outer solar system. Through the eyes of new horizons, we have glimpsed its wonders. Towering ice mountains, vast nitrogen glaciers, and the enigmatic heart-shaped Tombaugh Regio. Pluto, in its silent beauty, challenges our understanding and invites us to delve deeper into the unknown. Beyond Pluto, whispers of an unseen world stir the scientific community. This elusive Planet Nine, hidden in the darkness, bends the paths of distant objects with its gravitational embrace. Its existence, inferred from the strange orbits of transneptunian objects, hints at a world yet to be seen, a planet at the very boundaries of our solar system. Join us on a journey to the mysteries on the boundaries of the solar system with the Voyager Saga, the enigmatic Pluto, and the elusive Planet Nine. In the sweltering summer of 1977, a cosmic opportunity loomed on the horizon. The planets of our solar system were aligning in a way that happens only once every 176 years. This rare celestial event opened the way to the unknown and gave us a chance to embark on a great journey to the outer planets. Using this happy coincidence, NASA engineers and scientists conceived of a mission in which two probes would slingshot from planet to planet, using the gravitational pull of each to propel them farther into the depths of space. The technological marvels that were Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were equipped with the most advanced instruments of their time. From imaging systems capable of capturing Jupiter's swirling storms to magnetometers designed to study Saturn's magnetic fields, these spacecraft were to rewrite our understanding of the solar system. But the journey to the launch pad was fraught with challenges. Budgetary constraints, technological hurdles, and the boldness of the mission objectives pushed the team to the limit. Every component of the spacecraft had to be painstakingly tested every system optimized for the rigors of space. As the launch dates approached, the excitement was palpable. Three, two, one, we have ignition, we have liftoff. Soaring into the skies, these twin messengers carried with them the hopes and dreams of all mankind, embarking on a journey that would forever change the way we think about the cosmos. When Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 traveled beyond the asteroid belt, they were greeted by the colossal presence of Jupiter, the gas giant that gravitationally dominates our solar system. These encounters set in motion a series of groundbreaking discoveries that would overturn our view of the outer planets. Armed with a host of sophisticated instruments, the probes peered into the planet's turbulent atmosphere, revealing the dynamic and violent nature of its storms. The imaging science system a key component of Voyager's arsenal captured stunning details of the Great Red Spot, a storm larger than Earth itself, and revealed never-before-seen features. But perhaps one of the most unexpected discoveries was the existence of Jupiter's thin ring system, a ghostly band of dust and particles girdling the planet. This discovery, made possible by the ship's photopolarimeter, disproved the notion that rings were a feature exclusive to Saturn. Among Jupiter's moons, Io stood out for its fiery temperament. The observations revealed a world with volcanic activity, the first time such phenomena have been observed outside of Earth. Moreover, 
Io is the most volcanically active body in our system, its surface forever changing under the inexorable forces of its interior. Images of towering plumes and lava flows have changed our understanding of geologic processes in the solar system. As the voyagers continued their journey to Saturn, unprecedented beauty awaited them. The complex and intricate structure of Saturn's rings came into view, and the probe's cameras captured the subtle interplay of light and shadow among the countless ice particles. The scientific instruments aboard the spacecraft, especially the radio system, played a crucial role in studying the composition and dynamics of Saturn's rings. The data collected revealed the complex structure of the rings, including the mysterious gaps and braids, phenomena whose formation continues to intrigue scientists to this day. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, was another highlight of the mission. Shrouded in a thick atmosphere, Titan was a world of mystery, its surface hidden from view. However, thanks to the ingenuity of Voyager's instruments, glimpses of this mysterious moon suggest the presence of liquid hydrocarbon lakes and a complex weather system, sparking curiosity and speculation about the possibility of life on it. The Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 encounters with Jupiter and Saturn have not only expanded our knowledge of the hot gas giants, but have also opened new frontiers in the exploration of the outer solar system. In the cold and distant reaches of our solar system, Voyager 2 set out for a solitary encounter with Uranus, the enigmatic ice giant. This historic encounter in January 1986 offered a glimpse of a world that had previously been just a pale blue dot in Earth-based telescopes. Uranus has presented an enigma to scientists, with its peculiar tilted axis lying almost parallel to the plane of the solar system. This unusual orientation, with poles that alternately bask in the sun and languish in decades of darkness, has a profound effect on the planet's weather and atmospheric dynamics. As Voyager 2 approached, its instruments, including the Narrow Angle Imaging Science System camera, began to capture unprecedented images of Uranus's atmosphere and its suite of moons and rings. The pale blue color of Uranus hid the complex structure of the atmosphere, with faint bands of clouds and previously invisible rings encircling the planet. One of the most striking discoveries was the nature of Uranus's magnetic field, revealed by the spacecraft's magnetometers. Unlike Earth, whose magnetic axis coincides exactly with the axis of rotation, Uranus's magnetic field was found to be significantly displaced and tilted, suggesting a complex and possibly multi-layered internal structure. Leaving Uranus behind, Voyager 2 continued its journey to Neptune, the most distant of the known planets. In August 1989, mankind saw Neptune for the first time up close, a dynamic and turbulent world at the center of which was the great dark spot, a storm the size of the Earth. Neptune's atmosphere, buffeted by supersonic winds, paints a portrait of a planet alive with weather disasters. The spacecraft and its suite of instruments have delved into the mysteries of these winds, capturing the movement of cloud formations and the complex pattern of Neptune's faint rings. Among Neptune's moons, Triton stands out for its retrograde orbit and geologically young surface. Voyager 2's images of Triton showed a frozen landscape dotted with geysers spewing nitrogen gas and dust into space, hinting at a geologically active interior. Voyager 2's encounter with Uranus and Neptune has expanded the frontiers of our knowledge, revealing the diversity and dynamism of the outer planets. These fleeting visits have provided a treasure trove of data. In the shadowy depths of our solar system, far beyond the last known gas giant, lies a world shrouded in intrigue and mystery. This is Pluto. Once considered the ninth planet, it now occupies a separate category at the center of heat at debate and scientific curiosity. For decades, Pluto remained a blurry speck of light in our most powerful telescopes, a distant, at the edge of our vision, a world waiting to be discovered, 
keeping its secrets in the cold, dark depths of space. At the dawn of the 21st century, an unprecedentedly ambitious mission began. The New Horizons spacecraft embarked on a billion-mile journey to explore Pluto's icy frontiers. What it discovered was astonishing in its diversity. Towering ice mountains, huge nitrogen glaciers, and the legendary heart-shaped Tombaugh Regio, an object so large it can be seen from space. But these discoveries are just the beginning. Join us as we journey together into the icy depths of the outer solar system, where one dwarf planet is eagerly waiting to tell us its story. In the early 20th century, the search for a ninth planet, the mysterious Planet X, gripped the world of astronomy. The search was not just about adding another name to the list of planets. It was about understanding the unseen forces that shaped the orbits of the then already known celestial bodies around us. At the center of the search was Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona, where a young astronomer named Clyde Tombaugh embarked on a painstaking journey through space armed with a telescope and photographic plates. Tombaugh set out to scrutinize the night sky inch by inch in search of an elusive planet that eluded detection. On a February night in 1930, Tombaugh's diligence paid off. Among the countless stars, he spotted a moving object a tiny speck of light that was unlike anything else he had observed. It was Pluto, a distant world named after the Roman god of the underworld, a discovery that would change the boundaries of our solar system. As the decades passed, the Hubble Space Telescope brought us closer to Pluto than ever before. Launched into orbit in 1990, Hubble's powerful lens pierced the veil of distance separating us from the outer solar system. As we travel the vastness of space, exploring distant worlds and discovering the secrets they hold, our understanding of the cosmos continues to evolve. The story of Pluto, from its discovery to the present day, is a vivid reminder of the dynamic nature of science and our attempts to categorize the universe around us. Pluto's unique orbital interaction with Neptune adds another layer to its fascinating story. During its 248-year orbit around the Sun, Pluto appears closer to the Sun than Neptune for a brief time, challenging the view of its position as the ninth planet. This crossing of orbits, when Pluto and Neptune change places, occurs because of the elliptical trajectory of Pluto's orbit and its inclination relative to the plane of the solar system. Despite this temporal shift, Pluto's overall trajectory ensures that there's no risk of collision with Neptune due to their mutual orbital resonance. The rather lengthy debate over Pluto's planetary status has long sparked discussion and controversy that reaches far beyond the astronomical community. In 2006, the International Astronomical Union revised the definition of planet in our solar system, which led to Pluto's reclassification as a dwarf planet. This moment was not only a turning point for Pluto, but also a catalyst for the reclassification of celestial bodies. Pluto's history is closely tied to the Kuiper Belt, a region teeming with objects that blur the boundaries between planets, moons, and smaller celestial bodies. Studying Pluto and its neighbors makes us think about the wide range of characteristics that celestial bodies can possess from their atmospheres and geology to their orbits and interactions. In the grand canvas of the cosmos, every thread, from the smallest asteroid to the mightiest gas giant, plays a critical role in the history of our solar system. As we stand at the threshold of new exploration, Pluto's legacy and the knowledge gained from the Kuiper Belt serve as beacons guiding us to a deeper understanding of our place in the universe. Rethinking our cosmic neighborhood is not just about the labels we place on it, but about embracing the diversity and complexity of the universe. In the vast silent expanse of our solar system, beyond the familiar brilliance of Neptune, rumors of some unseen presence have been stirring astronomers for quite a few years now. This mysterious force, unseen but undeniable, stretches the very fabric of our cosmic neighborhood, 
bending the paths of distant objects with its invisible grip. Here in the shadowy depths of space, where the warmth of the sun barely reaches, lies a mystery that's baffled the brightest minds. However, in the relentless pursuit, astronomers use an array of sophisticated techniques and instruments, from ground-based telescopes equipped with advanced adaptive optics to space-based observatories that circumvent the Earth's atmospheric interference. Among the most promising methods are wide-field surveys that scour large portions of the sky for faint, moving objects. These surveys, utilizing the latest in image processing algorithms, can systematically detect objects that move against the static backdrop of stars. Another approach involves gravitational lensing, a phenomenon in which the gravitational field of a massive object, such as the sun, bends the light of distant stars, creating a distorted image. By carefully observing these distortions, astronomers can infer the presence of massive objects that would otherwise be invisible. However, the potential for false positives and the difficulty of distinguishing between the effects of known objects and those of hypothetical planets present significant challenges. Despite these obstacles, the search for Planet Nine continues, driven by the quest for knowledge and the desire to unravel the mysteries of our cosmic neighborhood. In the search for Planet Nine, the invisible hand of gravity serves as our guide, leading us through the cosmic depths in search of this enigmatic world. While we may not yet know if this hypothetical planet truly exists, the journey itself has already expanded our understanding of the outer solar system and the forces that shape it. Whether we find Planet Nine or not, the search has revealed the intricate dance of celestial bodies that surrounds us and reminds us of the boundless wonders of the universe. As we continue to explore the farthest reaches of our cosmic neighborhood, we are bound to encounter even more mysteries that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. And it is in the pursuit of these mysteries that the true spirit of exploration lies, driving us ever forward on our journey to unlock the secrets of the universe.